All right, here we are with Chris Klein. The first thing i got to ask you about is Steven Gerrard coming to the MLS, and obviously MLS really benefits from a star like that. How is he? How does he fit in? How does he impact the LA Galaxy, in your opinion? Tremendously. I mean, he's a he's a world class player, and so anytime we can bring a player like uh, Gerrard in, like we brought David in, Robbie Keane, uh, it obviously helps our team on the field. He's a He's a, a very good professional and can still play at the highest level. So we're looking to getting him in in the summer and hopefully making a run another championship. And, and you know, obviously, obviously one of the things that everybody's talking about this year is the fact that Landon steps away from MLS and the LA Galaxy. Does Gerard fill that role, do you think? I don't know that you replace Landon one for one just because of what he's meant to our club and to the sport of soccer. But uh, in terms of player, we feel that Gerard coming in, uh, is a is a great asset that we can have, but uh, land is land, and so we're definitely going to miss him. Yeah, I think MLS is changing a lot, growing, and everybody's talking about the sport. And is it healthy right now, especially when you have the kind of talent coming in? Is, is it healthier yeah. than it's been? It's healthier than it's ever been. I mean, you see the players, not only the players that are coming in, but the amount of resources we're putting in in development. Uh, we have more expansion cities vying for franchises than we have spots. Uh, so I think it's as healthy as it's ever been. What do you make of the Lampard situation in New York? I thought that was fascinating. As a Chelsea fan, I have to tell you, yeah. I'm still disappointed he's wearing a city sweater. But um, how do you feel about that whole situation? And, and is that good or bad for MLS? Uh, I think it's uh, the situation. Look, it was uh, it was unfortunate just because of the confusion. But ultimately, I think it's good for MLS. We have a player coming in that can still play at the highest level. Uh, he'll be here in the summer, so he's going to play through with Man City. I can't help you with your Chelsea worries and him playing at Man City, but uh, I, I know Frank very well, and he's going to be a great pro for uh, for New York City Absolutely. and for MLS. Yeah, I think so. So you're here with Echoes of Hope, obviously. To You're a soccer guy. Do you play hockey? I don't play hockey. I can skate. Oh, so really? good friend of Luke's, uh, and so love to get out here and skate around and play with these guys. Well, that L.A. scene is, is pretty big up here. This is, you know, obviously for Sundance, L.A.'s a big deal up here. Yeah. But Luke's a different kind of guy. I'm a Blackhawk fan, yeah, okay. so I'm not at all a Kings fan, but he loves talking Kings over Blackhawks. He but does. He is that guy. Luke Robitaille is that guy that brings people together, though. He really does. I mean, uh, aside from what Luke does day-to-day -day with the Kings, uh, everything he does with Echoes of Hope and how he reaches out and gets everyone together here uh, is something that's pretty special. Hey, good to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Anytime. Thank you. All right. Good yeah. talking to you. Good talking Thanks to you. so much, yep. man.